Splunk, so not going to be helping out as far as stopping the Frozen Tomb from just destroying you. And just doing a history lesson, going back to that EP series where they played the... On the ball as far as being able to move around is concerned. Does have that stun charged up. Lamb actually going to get locked up here a little bit. MLXG, he's gone. The Rend is going to come through and Crystal gets first blood in that 2v. Pickups have come through from Crystal. We sent people try and get BF Swords early, but Assassin's in trouble again. Yeah, Barker coming through here as well. There's the Frozen Tomb onto Assassin. Gravity Field just to stop people from coming, but Assassin, he's burning down and he's going to die. The double kill now. And to clear the wave, not going to be available for trades, and they have no worries whatsoever of the jungle pressure coming through from MXG. That's a significant jungle pressure advantage coming through from Beast, just because he's a stronger skirmisher. But the fights actually have that Q hurt more, have that Q impact more, but MXG's been caught. Yeah, there's the Cataclysm to come through. He tunnels under and takes the Dark Passage. That was beautiful, but Flandre, he gets a Gnar onto him as well as MLXG's definitely going to fall. Beast going to take that death sentence, but that and it stops, stops the further push from Snake, but not in the top lane as the Onslaught of Shadows gets the fear onto Crystal. The exhaust to come through, forcing the flash out there as the culling comes down. Crystal dancing around this fight. There's the Tivers on a whoosh and the Fates call in as well. And Flandre throws a boomerang and picks up the kill after another beautiful teleport. And Flandre just looks like he's everywhere on this map. Yeah, Woosh not respecting the re-engage potential coming through from Ella with the Tibbers. Eventually dies to the Q being through and thrown out by Flandre. Excellent teleport coming through. Flandre's gone very aggressive. He's turret diving. Yeah, there's actually the W onto Lamb and he just dies. Crystal now trying to get some work done. Flandre just so tanky. Barker turns up. He is beast. Everyone from Snake in this top side. Once again, they're hoping, they're hoping for a snake mistake to buy enough time. Flandre, he's not really worried about the damage coming through. 1v2ing this king bottom lane. Yeah, there's the culling to come through. Flandre just tanking it up as he manages to get the Mega Nar there as well. He hits the boulder, jumps over the wall there as well. Oh, misses the Nar, but I think that Lamb might still be in trouble. Wallop doesn't land. Death Sense is going to be there. Wuxian's going to cop a... Rock to the head as MLXG finds his way around as well. And Flandre, he might be out of options, but he's wasted a lot of time here for his snake members. Eventually, he falls down. A little bit unfortunate about it. Able to pick up four damage items and get through a frontline tank. It's going to be difficult for him here, but the ult's been used. Yeah, MLXG sort of comes into the fight and then just dies instantly. Crystal hanging out in that gravity field for just a little bit, but doesn't worry. Three people pushing lanes, two people clearing vision and putting down their own vision oh, with wards. Oh, goodness. And that's the result. Everything is for, for an MLXG. He might die just trying to contest the red. Yeah, there's the smite proc to come through here as well, but... Oh my goodness, Hyper just does so much work. The Cataclysm to come down on MLXG. Liam gets caught up by the Tibbers stun at the same time. The Gravity Field's decent, gets flashed out of the way of and Look at that Ren damage on top of Assassin. Just ridiculous. And Fandre just tanking up the turret because he wants to, I think, is probably why. And It's about it's sending a message, it Atlas. It certainly is. The playback here from Liam and Wuxian gets caught by the Frozen Tomb. Snake are taking up residence in the king base and this inhibitor turret gonna fall down now as well snake with so much power this game this is what we were coming to expect and what we haven't got out of snake in the last few games and this feels like snake sending a message certainly it's we're here and we're here to play ignore the last couple of weeks ignore some of our performances because when we're on form this is what you have to be scared about the surrender actually comes through